Hey YouTubers, I'm back with another installment of my Hot Wheels and Matchbox cars. Um, these are what I picked up today. I actually picked up another F-350 uh, Superlift truck. Had to get one, so I had three. I have three now. Two are on my layout. This would be going up there soon. I got a 86 Monte Carlo SS Holly Equipped Edition. Um, oops. I got the a Team GMC Wagon. That was the only one I saw. I had to get it. Showed this to my dad. He knew right away what it was. And this is not Hot Wheels. This is Adventure Wheels. Um, I had to. Get, I just got this one. It's the Mercedes CLK GTR. A CLK 500 GTR. I have two of these already, or one of them. I have the Hot Wheels version, um, and it's really nice. And then I got this version because I, I was I'm familiar with this car. Um, haven't opened it yet. I'll probably do that in this video. Then I got the Aston Martin DBS. I think I have a I have a couple of Aston Martins. Then I found a Corvette C6 police car. Yay! More police cars. And then I got the mystery packs. Now I was at the store today. I was at Walmart, and I've been looking for some uh, cars for my um, fellow buddy. Um, his YouTube name is Diecast TV Channel. Highly recommend going to his channel because he does some cool reviews on Hot Wheels cars. Um, and he's looking for some particular ones, and I'm helping him out with that. But I didn't see any of the ones that he was looking for in the store. Matter of fact, when I got there, pretty much everything that was on the list that I was looking for was gone. There was like nothing at all, and my camera's getting ready to die. Nothing at all. So these are the ones that were there, um, and I picked them out. So, uh, I think I'm going to have to make this pretty quick. Um, let's open up the first one. My camera is, like, going to die on me right now. Um, so, yeah. Let's see what we got in here. Oh. It's got the dragster version of the Dodge Neon. So that's one of them. It's really nice, pretty heavy. And they each come with a booklet. They each come with a booklet explaining the cars in this series. I already got a lot of these cars in these in this in these series already that were sold separately like in these packs here. So I really don't need them. Um, they're in different colors and stuff like that. Let's see what the second one has. Let me just see. Oh. This must be the Toyota R something. What is it? The Toyota RSC. That's what it looks like. It's pretty nice. Nicely detailed. It's pretty heavy, too. I like the clear blue rims on it. That looks nice. Um... Let's try the next one. Okay, this is the Pikes Peak truck. I already have this truck here, but it's red. Red and black, and then I have a Toyota version. And then I have a Pikes Peak car. So this one's pretty cool. Um, so I have another coloration of that one. And then let's open the last bag. Packaging like the kid in a candy store. Ah, this is the Camaro concept right here. That's the Camaro concept. Wow, looks really mean. Wow, that's really nice. So, that's basically what the mystery cars look like. Mystery cars are sweet. Dodge Neon Dragster, Camaro Concept, Toyota RSC, and the Pikes Peak Truck. Excuse me. And then, let's see. Oh, man, this thing is heavy. Wow, it's got the detail. Look at that. It says GMC on it. Wow. Oh, Hot Wheels really outdid themselves with this. Look at this. It's got the pipes on it. Oh, my gosh. This thing is so sweet. This is like the second TV series car I've gotten 
maybe the third, I'm not sure. But I do have the Knight Rider um, kit, the Knight, you know, kit, the Knight Industry 2000 from the 1986 series or a 1980 series. It's not by Hot Wheels, it's by another company. It was made right at the same time the, the, the show was in its second or first season by a different company. Um, I'll have to show you guys that, but this is the A Team GMC van. That's really, really cool. Now, let's open up the C6 Corvette now. Sorry if I'm showing you guys the bed covering. Ooh, this is nice. Yeah, now that's nice. It says City of Lafayette or something. So this is going to go on the layout. I got like almost all my police cars from Hot Wheels on the layout. And they're all nice and clean. They're not grimy and dirty. I'm not saying police cars are grimy and dirty, but, you know, paint's not faded on them. So that's really cool. Um, let's see if I can get this with one hand. Oh, yeah, I can get it with one hand. Come on. There we go. Ah, the DB, Aston Martin DBS. I saw this at the 2012 car show. Except it was white, but look at those rims. Those are some sick looking rims, look at that. I actually hid this car away behind another set of Hot Wheels cars uh, yesterday. Um, I should have bought it last night, but I didn't. Um, so I put it back there and it was still there. So, yes sir, I will be. So yeah, that's a really nice car. Um, Let's do the Monte Carlo. See if I can get it. There we go. Oh, this thing's pretty heavy. Wow, look at that. It's got the custom hood on it. Like that blue. That blue is so awesome. I do have a Buick Grand International, though, too, from Hot Wheels. It's not the special edition like their Boulevard series, but it's a... Um, it's the same thing. Well, they use the same body style. That is a blemish right there. Part of the paint. They actually didn't paint that part right there. That's kind of unusual. They usually paint the whole model. It's a nice car. It's very heavy. Um, let's do the Mercedes. This is the first time I bought one of these cars from this company, so... I'm not familiar with them like I am Matchbox and Hot Wheels. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they used the cast metal on this. is not really that durable. I can feel it. Yeah, it's nice, though. They got the details right, but the Hot Wheels one I have looks a lot nicer. This is not even Hot Wheels. This is... I can't even pronounce the name. But it's, it's a nice car. It's got a fair amount of weight to it, but you can just tell by the, the, the cast metal that they use. It's not the same quality as, as Hot Wheels, but you, if you put it right there, I mean, you can just, you can just tell by looking at it which is, you know, yeah. But it's not that bad. I mean, I like it. I like it. It was the best one they had there anyway. The other ones didn't even look right. They look cartoonish. The other ones from that company, what is it? awesome adventure wheels that's what they're called um and last but not least f-350 super lift i did a review on the other ones this is going to be a little bit difficult there we go yep looks just like the other ones but i got three of them now so i'll be putting those on the layout they're in my fire department rescue squad very nice, and just like the other ones, let's see if they stay true to form. And oh man, it's a little bit difficult to come off. There we go. Um, let's see if I can get this off with one hand. There we go. Yep, third one comes off too, just like the other ones. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, that's what I got. I got total of 10 vehicles and they're all really cool but I'll be on the lookout for those other ones um, my bud uh, I think his nickname is DCTV channel 
I'll be on the lookout for those cars for you. I got one more big store to try that's near me, and then I'll have to go further out. But I'm willing to do it because those cars that I saw, I want them too. Um, so you guys be cool, and you be cool, bud. Um, everyone, God bless. I hope you all had a good weekend. Uh, new, work week to, new work week is about to start, so you all be safe on the roads. And uh, have a good time. Be cool, and I'll see you later. Bye, y'all. And I highly recommend getting all these cars. If you can find the 18, this is going to be worth money one day. Um, so if you guys can find that, that would be good. This was the only one I've seen. And I knew, I didn't even hesitate, I just bought it. So you guys be cool. And if you find any Hot Wheels like this, especially the movie ones, better snatch them up. Okay? Peace, y'all. And God bless.